Hey guys, welcome to River Bass. And today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, going to talk about some of my favorite baits to throw during the summertime uh, at the river. Um, but before I get started on that, I won a bait on Facebook uh, from Samson Lures. I don't know if they have a website or what, but I'm just going to open it. He uh, hand paints lures. Show it to y'all. A little cicadia. Looks good to me. I've never fished with one. It's two and a half inches. Uh, when I wanted it, I got to watch him paint. He painted a plopper, a rat, and a cicadia. His plopper prices are $10. I believe for hand painted plopper but uh I got to watch him paint it and then I won it it's pretty cool I'll drop a link to this guy's Facebook page if y'all liked it he does he paints all kinds of stuff but I'll drop a link to his Facebook page in the bottom if y'all liked it I don't know if he has a website or not okay first thing in the morning I'm gonna be throwing something moving on top uh, this is a zoom horny toad I put it on a number five hook. And then if I want something with a little noise, I'll throw a buzz bait or a whopper plopper. And I change my whopper plopper hooks out, which I don't think you got to do that no more, but I use Fletcher Shrout hooks. They are, I use oversized hooks normally, bigger hooks. Another bait I like to throw is a rogue. This one is by Smithwick. It's a suspending rogue. It goes down and then floats back to the top. Or you can keep it under and work it. However you want to work it. I've caught fish doing them both ways. Always keep a crankbait on. No matter what. And I got it changed out to the Fletcher Shaw hooks also. Big hooks for this crankbait. I keep them on all my stuff. Bigger hooks. Another bait I like to throw is a trick worm. It's just a green pumpkin green. I'll rig it up on a number three hook. It uh, you catch a bunch of fish on a trick worm, which all y'all probably know that. And even if you don't catch the fish, it'll show you the fish. You can see the fish usually. And you can throw something else in there and catch them. It'll show you the fish. And same with a swim jig. You get some followers on it. It's just with a menace bug on it. But I like throwing a swim jig. I ain't caught a whole bunch of fish on them. But I like throwing them. Another bait I like to throw that I haven't had a whole bunch of success on is a chatterbait. This is the jackhammer chatter bait, but I ain't got two jackhammers. They're kind of high. And it's got a, the Z-Man thing on the back of it. They're pretty tough, the Z-Man trailer. And then I'll just pick up my speed crawl, start throwing a speed crawl in the river with a quarter ounce sinker and I'll put these on the back of that swim jig too throw this on number three and that's just some of my favorite summertime baits that I'll throw today's video is going to be about this thing right here if Brittany can get us in I ain't worried about the skiers today because today we're just gonna read this. Try to. Welcome to River Bassin. Time out. That don't look right at all. There. Uh, I knew that thing about to jump in. Oh, you ain't. Yes, I am. Yeah. I'll hit the 
motor because it's running. Well, Mom, how, how will I be able to get back in? There's a couple fish right there. But shouldn't you be able to see them on the bottom one? The bottom one what? The bottom part of your screen. That right there is 60 foot off each side. Them two right there straight down. But the ones that was on the TV, you could like see them. Yeah, but I ain't got that live scan stuff. This is old school. <laughs> Should have waited another year before I bought this. I bought one. This ain't deep enough. I don't know where the deepest part of this lake is. But this ain't it. Look. What we're gonna see right here. Should be fixing to come. Yeah, right there it is. That is. Yeah. I can't see nothing. No. Oh. Well, you see the other bait right there? That's probably bass or something right there. Let's see if we can catch a fish. L I Z Z A R D. Yeah, I know. But them are fishing lizards. They're spelled different. <laughs> what? Are you yes, you're being recorded. What? No. And your daddy will be delayed. Looks good. I need to glue it there. Pull side down. All right, let's see if we can find something on the bottom. If we can find something on the bottom. Okay, so we got 30 minutes before this lake closes down and I've yet to figure out anything. Except for seeing a couple things, what I think is fish. Yeah. Okay, there it is. So it's right there. A bunch of dots right there. I don't know what that is. Is that fish? Dots. They're right there, ain't they? Can't tell what. Mama, do you want the water? No, no. Well, I'm just going in case. too shallow up there to see what the dang dock looks like. Okay, so it's too shallow to see the dock. Looks like there's some fish right there under the boat. Dude, I'll just stick them under the ladder and stay right there until... No, because if you fall off but that ain't motor, nothing there. you up. Look at that. Some kind of Fish ain't it right there? Dots, three dots right there. That's them three fish. But I don't know what they're. I don't. They just suspended up there or something. Is that fish? See, I don't know if all that's fish or not. All them dots. There's a lump right there. That's it. I'm talking to YouTube, not you guys. Hopefully they'll be able to say, yeah, that was a fish, that's what you was looking at. And then maybe they'll say, no, you're a dumbass, that wasn't a fish. <laughs> and they're gonna see you with all your marinara sauce and lizards up your nose. And... But I wanna say that was fish back there. And that, see, I can't tell what that is. I'd like to see a big log down there. 
throw my sinker over it and drag it over it just to feel it where I know how far it is behind me it is. I wish it was deeper. This whole lake, I ain't found nothing over 10 foot yet. Because you're not in the middle. We idled our way across the middle. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Seven foot. Yeah, it's nothing over 10 foot. And what do you expect this man made like? I don't know, Brittany. Maybe a little freaking depth. <laughs> 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 Look at there, a tree or something sticking up. Yeah. Okay, swim down there and see if tree. you can see what that is. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go by this, and as soon as I can see it on there, I'm gonna see how far it is behind the boat, and then when it disappears, I'm gonna see how far it is behind the boat. Well, that's a big question. All right, it's there now, right when the bottom of the boat's passing that you can see it. That's about halfway gone, so that ain't far. That ain't 30 feet. So now it is gone right here. About 75 feet. I can throw that far. Okay. So me and Chance was wondering about that. How far it was before it disappeared. Off of this screen was it behind you? Okay, that's neat. Alright, y'all ready to go? Yeah. I learned something. 